PR is a great technique to produce eye-popping images that better represent what your eyes saw in a scene. Unfortunately though, HDR is hampered by one disadvantage, ghosting artifacts, which according to this article, is caused by anything that moves in your frame between shots, which will make objects appear blurry in your merged image. Although to my eyes, the ghosts look more semi-transparent rather than blurry. The article continues that some ghosting is unavoidable, but can be corrected with editing. So in this video, I'll be showing you one simple method of correcting severe ghosting using layers and Affinity Photo. To demonstrate, let's work with the following brackets. These shots were taken handheld in the RAW format with my Sony RX100M6 with what I thought was an already pretty high shutter speed, 1 over 640, to avoid artifacts. Unfortunately, despite those efforts, significant movement remains from frame to frame. Not a positive thing if you want a quality HDR merge. Nevertheless, let's merge the brackets and see what we get. I'll click File, New HDR Merge. I'll choose the files. I'll click OK. There, the merging is done. As you can see, there is significant distortion present in the image. That's an issue of my RX100 M6 RAW files rather than Affinity Photo. Unlike in Develop Persona, the tone mapping persona does not correct distortion automatically. No problem, I'll correct it later. While the blend looks good, as expected, significant ghosting is visible and makes this image unusable. How do you fix this? The default way is via automatic ghosting removal. To demonstrate, I'll redo the HDR merge. This time, I'll make sure to click the Automatically Remove Ghosts option. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't Affinity just set this automatically? While not stated explicitly, I would guess that automatic ghost removal will slightly make the tone mapping process less effective as one bracket would primarily be used to perform the tone mapping rather than all three brackets equally. There, the merge is done. As you can see, comparing with the previous result, Ghosting has indeed been fixed. No more blurred or semi-transparent results. And this would be a big improvement if not for the glaring presence of a headless woman and Mr. Fantastic. Other than that, it looks perfect. Getting aside, with ghost removal not working, what other options are available? The good news is there is one more option we can try, and that is to perform the ghosting manually with layers. Let's demonstrate. First, I'll pick a bracket which best matches the merged image. After some inspection, I'll choose the overexposed bracket. I'll add it in as a layer. As Affinity applies a distortion correction to the raw image automatically, I'll disable it so as to better match the merged image which has no distortion correction applied. Another problem is the lack of alignment between the images. As you can see, as I reduce opacity, there is clear movement from one image to the next. Let's manually align the images. I'll zoom in for a closer look. I'll use the Move tool to match the edges. There, that's looking better. Next, I'll use the Selection Brush to select the problem areas starting with the Headless Woman. I'll use the Polygonal Selection tool to further refine the selection. 
Next, I'll do the same process for the security guard. Next, I'll click the mask button. I'll navigate back to develop persona to lower the exposure and make the blend more natural looking. There, that's looking pretty reasonable. One final thing to do is to fix the ugly distortion of the image. I'll merge the visible layers. With the top layer selected, I'll navigate to Develop Persona to fix the distortion. And there you go, mission accomplished. As you can see, it's a big improvement. No more artifacts or headless women in the final image. Of course, you can do a lot more work to make the blend even more perfect. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any other methods of correcting ghosts in HDR. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.